doing? I'm doing pretty good. I am going to just do, I'm using an Arteza. Uh, it's wet because my I just got done doing a painting. Uh, panel, canvas panel. So I figured why not? And if they curl on you, which I'm not real sure because I've never done them with pore painting yet, but I have heard that sometimes they do. I'm not Arteza brand, I'm not sure about it yet. But you can always, uh, well, I was told to go ahead and spray it down first with pink primer maybe, that does help also. And then, or once it, if it, once it's dry, then you can just spray the back and put like some parchment paper between it. And you can lay it down on, um, put like two books, two heart, something heavy on it. So you spray the back and then just lay it down. So, but I'm gonna go and see what it does here for me on a reverse dip. So I'm gonna tilt this off and then we'll get started. Okay, so I'm using leftover paint from last week. Remember I did that buttered yam and apricot? And then I did the brick red with a little bit of, um, was it red in it? There's another color in it, but I'm having a hard time remembering. Well, let's just call it brick red, okay? <laughs> and then I had some leftover paint. I strained it real nice, and this is eggplant. <laughs> it's Anita's brand. <clears throat> so I do know that apricot was Anita, so it was the, um, I don't know, apricot was apple barrel from last week, and uh, buttered yam was Anita's. So anyway, and then some lemon yellow, that was um, Arteza. Okay. So here we go. I just covered it with titanium white, which is Arteza white, mixed with some Artist Loft white flow. Okay, so we'll see what they do.
but they are pretty colors together. all wrinkled. Well, we'll see. Okay. And then we'll see how it dries on the panel. But I do know they're fixable. If anybody has any good ideas about panels, let me know because I have lots of them. But I've actually been using them to practice on to uh, paint paint brushes, believe it or not. <laughs> like that. Ooh, it's pretty. Pretty colors. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, that is beautiful together with that eggplant. Wow, that's a pretty one. Okay, so I don't want to use this saran wrap for nothing. Nope. Kind of like it. Actually, really, really like it. <laughs> oh my goodness, isn't that pretty together? Pick these up. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, there's that color looks good with that apricot. Oh my goodness. Isn't that beautiful together? Huh. I'm gonna be getting me some more of those colors. Oh, I got to save this so I can all those other paints I have right there, I'm saving every single one. So that's beautiful. That's pretty. It's so bright and gorgeous. It's so bright. Gorgeous. All right, let's not take 10 years, Sherry. And then anywhere where there might be bare spots on the canvas, I can fix that up too. That's an eggplant. Apricot, butter jams, uh, lemon yellow. Am I forgetting any of them? Yeah, red brick. That red brick in there. So that's pretty. So kind of got a little white in the center there, but I think I can give it time and then I'll re dip it in my finger so that it'll kind of go away. But that's beautiful. Okay, so I'll let you see this panel once it's dry, okay? And then we'll go from there on how to straighten them if they curl on you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, have yourself a very, very nice day or week. Yeah. yeah. Or evening, whichever it is for you. I know we're starting off the week for everybody, so have a good week, okay? I like it this way. <laughs> all right after i made you dizzy all right take it easy guys like share and subscribe if you'd like to that would be awesome and i'll catch you guys later